Okay. Hello, everybody. Um, today, I want to discuss or maybe do a little bit of a review on a collection of short stories by an author that uh, was recently I was introduced to. And I just want to say, even though I have the physical copy, I, uh, I first listened to this on audiobook. Uh, I went to audio, audible.com and I used my credit. Actually, for me, it's audible.ca now. And I used my cre credit and I downloaded this book. Actually, you know what? I did it a long time ago. And uh, I just never listened to it. I, I forget the reason why now I went and, and downloaded it and listened to it. But I'm so glad I did. Because, well, let me tell you the book first. It's... Uh, this or sorry, yeah, the secret of ventriloquism. It's by John Paget. John Paget himself is uh, he is as he uh, titles himself a lapsed ventriloquist. So he, <laughs> if you want to, I'm going to try to remember to put the video down in the notes where he appears on the uh, Lovecraft. Uh, Easing uh, podcast. Uh, it's a YouTube show. It's live every uh, Sundays at 6 p.m. EST, Eastern Time. Uh, he appeared on that show about a year ago or so, maybe two years ago, and uh, he actually does a little uh, a little performance with his uh, dummy. It's very fascinating to watch. Uh, it was a lot of fun. And but you know, listening to him read his own work in this collection is. Uh, it's fantastic. If you have, if you're a member of Audible, I highly recommend that you download that that presentation, that book, and you listen to it. Um, the stories in this thing are uh, are fascinating. It's very dark, and it's very uh, very nightmarish. And uh, okay, the book starts off with an introduction by Matt Cardin. And uh, the first story is the mindfulness of uh, horror practice, sort of like an introduction itself. And I was afraid to listen to it, honestly. It, right off the bat, it's creeping the hell out of me because I was afraid, in all honesty, that I'd be hypnotized and uh, would either feel or do terrible things. <laughs> uh, Murmurs of a Voice for No is about a, a, a little boy who's being uh, bullied by his brother and I think a lot of us maybe have been there. I know I have. Um, kids are very mean. And that always surprises me how, how cruel children can be towards each other. And that story really uh, <laughs> picks up on that. Okay, the next story, um, The Indoor Swamp, was uh, really good. Uh, but the, you know what? Even despite my enjoyment of those first two stories, this collection really started to pick up on um, on Origami Dreams, the third story, and that story sort of poses the idea of uh, a frail reality where things, you kind of get caught, the main character sort of gets caught in uh, the or origami house, <laughs> uh, you could say, and uh, reality starts to change on him. And uh, I'm going to leave it at that because uh, it's a very fascinating read. I was like gripped on this one. And I, I just find the idea of playing around with reality uh, a very fun concept. And uh, John Padgett really nails it with that story. Uh, next after that is 20 Simple Steps to Ventriloquism. And <laughs> that's a lot of fun, especially if you're listening to it. Um, I highly recommend that you uh, listen to the audiobook again. Uh, after that is the Infusorium, a very fan, love that story. Uh, the one thing I really liked about that, it's almost like a hard-boiled, it's not almost like a hard-boiled, it is a hard-boiled uh, uh, detective type story, and uh, it's very strange, especially at the end. There's some really interesting uh, uh, stories behind that story as well. I, I suggest again that you go to uh, uh, the Lovecraft design and uh, check that out. Pretty sure he tells that story there. Uh, then Organ Void. <laughs> very weird story. Very weird. Uh, secrets to... 
sorry, the secret of ventriloquism and escape to Thin Mountain. Now these uh, these final stories, uh, the secret of ventriloquism. Let me see here. That is a, a play, and uh, like I said, if you uh, if you listen to the audio production, and the audio production is read by John Paget. Uh, he does a phenomenal job. There's some, there's you know, there's some current controversy out there apparently about people who uh, who read their own work. I think people like John Paget, uh, who who are, I guess you could say, trained, even if they're self-trained. I don't know if John Paget's trained in any other way or if he taught himself, but uh, I can't remember anyway. But uh, he he's a performer. He he knows what he's doing, and he uh, knocks it out of the park. And this one, it's almost like a one-person play, he does very well with. And then uh, the last story, the last story, Escape to Thin Mountain, actually has a little bit of music in it, some words. And it's very creepy. So definitely um, get this book. Uh, one reason why I wanted to do a video about this, because I've been raving about this book for a little while now. I can't express enough how much I enjoyed it. It's so very weird and, and messed up. Uh, and I, I wanted to make a video of it because it doesn't matter if you write a, a review. You can't capture the excitement like you can when you're kind of face-to-face, -face, even if we're not actually face-to-face. -face. But you're watching me, and I'm like, Ah, get this book, get it! Woo! <laughs> because it really is awesome. So it was... One of my favorite uh, reading experiences ever. So, uh, so yeah, definitely get uh, Secrets of Ventriloquism by John Paget. You won't be disappointed, especially if you like dark, horrific, nightmarish, weird fiction.